This isn't easy. Come back next week and we'll not laugh for you fuckers, okay? Coming up to the stage next, please give it up for the very funny Marion Morrison. It is not we, not yet anyway. All right, my name is Marion Morrison. Now, let me start out here. I really am underprepared, working 12 hours a day. Well, you know, I'm, I had a couple of jokes here, but I'm gonna rearrange the order on them. I think it'd be inappropriate, inappropriate to say it in a way that I originally wrote this. Anyway, I was at Sam's Club today, and my day started off a little offbeat. It started off offbeat, I get to Sam's Club thinking, ooh, Sam's Club, Walmart's beneath me. But the moment I walked out, I was like, well, crap, I forgot something, gotta go to Walmart. But while I was at Sam's Club, a very rude guy walks up to me, and as he passed me by, he goes, bitch. And I look like, fucker. And I just came out my married away. That happens a lot, believe it or not. But as I'm walking out, a five-year-old, I'm not even going to say five-year-old, she's like two or three-year-old girl, barely knew, knew how to speak English, would not let me walk away before she gave me a hug because she thought I was a Disney prince. Now, mind you, I was just dressed up in something considerably different, and I, since she was so young, I'm not going to say she was calling me bastard. She was going Baston, Baston, so I'm guessing she thought I was Gaston from uh, Beauty and the Beast, and you know what? She wouldn't let me go until she hugged me. And that just really lightened my day. It was really weird, too, because this three-year-old, two-year-old girl won't walk away until she hugs me, and now it's a strange two-year-old little girl grabbing my thigh. Very weird feeling for a 34-year-old single man. All right, I'm like, hey, 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 hey. And then her mom walks up in a really thick accent, Italian, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh wait, she was calling me bastard. Bastardo! That's just my day. Yep. So, February's coming to an end. Who here, you know, Valentine's Day came and gone. Who here had a really good Valentine's Day? Anyone? Yeah, yeah. You don't go to hell. I spent it working and single. You know what happens when you're single on Valentine's Day? You've been reduced to that background guy in porn, you know, while everybody's doing their best Judge Mills Wayne. Let's get it on! You're just standing there in the back, following yourself like a monkey in the zoo, right? <laughs> this happened last night when I was driving home. This is actually really new. I, I barely put pen and paper on this one. Real, real story, I'm driving home. Now, I don't see the car accident, per se, but I do see the old, I'm going to say dad-looking gentleman, get out of the car shaking his head. And then the kid gets out of his car on his cell phone. Okay, now I'm not an expert here, but if you just rear-ended a guy because you're on your cell phone, and you rear-ended him because, again, you're on your cell phone, do not get out of the car on your cell phone. Uh-oh, accident selfie. Awesome, Instagram! At this point, this day and age, you get hit, you hit somebody, you kill somebody, and you're on your cell phone, you're doing life, all right? Your best bet saying, dude, man, I was drunk. Oh, dude, that's a three-year probationary. Dude, I was doing coke. I was doing it off the dashboard. I said, oh, cool, coke. We haven't lost somebody in coke for a while now, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend was giving me head. Hey. Anything's better than getting into a car accident while on your cell phone. Am I wrong? Yeah. If you're a truck driver today and you get caught on your cell phone, you lose your license. So, that's my rant for uh, cell phone and driving, you know. But... I recently just moved into my uh, apartment. Now, my apartment's downtown. It's a downtown loft. And now, believe it or not, I never saw myself as a downtown loft kind of guy. You know, I just, I don't know what to do now. I don't know, do some college parties, you know, on the weekend because I can buy the beer. And thanks to the government, I can buy the cigarettes now. Yeah, the big benefits of getting old, right? So, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna put my hair, you know, in a man bun. Now, switch over to veganism, you know, start smoking a little fancy e-cigarette or something, you know, just to fit in, right? Yeah, exactly. Get easily offended by everything, right? For those of you that don't know me, me switching to veganism would be the uh, most funniest thing, all right? That's like trying to find a video of Elvis rapping, you're not going to do it. So, oh man, you know, you know that's about all I got for tonight, that's all I had to pinned out and I wanted to get through. So thank you very much, my name is Mary Morrison, you'll have a good night, give it up for Dan, thank you. Keep it going for Mary Morrison, everyone. The comic mom.
most likely to help you to remove a family of raccoons out of your crawl space. I love that guy. Coming up next, a very funny Cameron.